Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video with everything you need to know about adenogestrel, a hormonal implant. This video is part of a video series on sexual problems and for most of these videos check out the playlist in the description. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. The generic name of this medication is adenogestrol, but it's sold under several brand names like Nexplanon and Implanon. And it's available as an implant. Which brings us to how to use this medication. It's placed on the local anesthetics in your upper arm. First, your doctor will inject your upper arm with a local anesthetic. And then the implant will be inserted under the skin of your upper arm through a disposable syringe. After the implantation, your doctor will check if it's located correctly by feeling it through the skin or with an ultrasound. And lastly, your doctor might apply a pressure bandage to prevent swelling or bruising. And your doctor will provide you with the user's card, which states the exact location and the date of the implant. And as previously mentioned, this implant is a hormonal form of birth control. It contains the hormone progesterone which inhibits your ovulations and it makes it more difficult for sperm cells to penetrate the womb. Normally I would discuss the correct dosages here, but for the implant it's quite simple. It needs to be implanted on the first to fifth day of your last menstruation, after which it is advised to take additional measures such as condoms for the first seven days after the insertion. And when inserted correctly, the implant will be effective for up to three years. However, in overweight women, the reliability is reduced in the third year. For them, it's better to renew the implant every two years. And just to be sure, discuss this with your prescribing doctor. Now, Implanon is a very effective form of birth control, but unfortunately, it can have some side effects. I will discuss the most common ones here, but for a complete list, check your leaflet or ask your prescribing doctor. Very commonly, patients might experience irregular menstruations, painful breast, vaginal infections, acne, a headache, and weight gain. Commonly, a patient might experience an increased appetite, dizziness, decreased libido, abdominal pain, nausea, and a skin reaction at the injection site. Uncommonly, patients might experience itching, a rash, vomiting, fever, and an allergic reaction. Then, safety. Implanon is safe to combine with any type of food, you can drive while using Implanon and it's safe to combine with alcohol, in moderation of course. However, it can have some interactions with other drugs, therefore always discuss this with your prescribing doctor. And lastly, we're discussing the safety of Implanon when pregnant or when breastfeeding. First of all, if you want to become pregnant, then please make sure to remove Implanon correctly. Regarding breastfeeding, this implant can be used safely when used 4 weeks or more after delivery. Always discuss this though with your prescribing doctor. Now I hope you know now how to use etanogestrol, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you who want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description or up there. Now all that rest me is to thank my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you Sebastian, who is an investor tier supporter, and thank all of you. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'm posting weekly videos to educate myself, as well as you, my viewer, and you would help me to reach 20,000 subscribers, my new master. Oh, and before you go, I recently started an Instagram account and posting pretty much daily, so check it out. I will put a link up there. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.